Are you looking to buy a dog crate for your Tesla Model Y, but you can't find the right crate or kennel to fit your trunk space? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be running down some of the options that you might wanna consider if you are looking for a dog crate or dog kennel to keep your dog safe while you're driving in your Tesla Model Y. My name is Kieran and I'm one part of Life with Klikai alongside my wife Yasmin and our two dogs Sky and Copper. Now before we go any further I just want to point out that if you do click any of the links in this video or in the description below we may make a small commission. You may be able to make a saving on one of the dog crates that I mentioned in this video. I will share the best and latest discount codes that I can offer our Life with Klikai community in the description and make sure to keep it updated. With that out of the way let's get started. I'm going to give you a breakdown of all the dog crates and kennels that I have tried and tested in my Tesla Model Y trunk as well as providing my verdict at the end of the video. So the first dog crate we're gonna look at is the Gunner G1 Kennel. The Gunner G1 Kennel is described as the world's safest dog crate. So the small, medium, and intermediate sizes have all passed crash safety testing. This means that they have five-star crash safety testing from the center for pet safety. It has a paddle latch to make opening and closing the door really simple. It has locks at the top and the bottom for added safety. It has an aluminum door system and roto model plastic, which can withstand a lot of impact, both from inside the crate and outside the crate should you be involved in a car accident. It has window vents, so there's lots of air ventilation. The crate can also withstand weather conditions. If it's raining, the way that the crate is designed means that the water won't go inside the crate. One of the things that I really like about this particular G1 kennel is that it's got incorporated tie-down pins. Gunner have cleverly designed it so that you can actually use the tie-down pins incorporated into the kennel to make the process of securing it a lot easier. Other features to point out is the kayak handles, which you do have to attach to the crate and it also has a drainage system so if you do have dogs that shed a lot or if your dogs that get car sick you can easily clean it using that drainage system. Now there isn't any assembly required with the crate so when you get it you just have to take it out of the box. The only thing you do have to attach like I said is the kayak handles and the other thing that I should point out that it is made inside the USA so you are supporting an American company if you do invest in this dog crate. The Gunner G1 kennel starts at $550 for the small version. I have invested in the medium size that cost me $650. As you can see from the video I am testing out the Gunner G1 medium kennel so I can say of confidence that that does fit in the back of a Tesla Model Y trunk. The small will also obviously fit in the back of a Tesla Model Y trunk. I haven't tested out the intermediate or large so I can't speak for those particular sizes. As you can see from the video the Gunner G1 kennel won't obscure my vision in the rear view mirror so I really like that about the Gunner G1 kennel and I can also fit it running alongside the rear seat or with the door facing towards the trunk so I have two options when it comes to the positioning of this particular dog crate. I haven't used the tie downs for the demo in this video, but that's something to keep in mind. If you do want that five star crash safety service, you will need to use the tie downs. Moving on to the Impact Stationary Dog Crate. Impact Dog Crates are one of the leading suppliers of dog crates in the USA and all of their dog crates are made in the USA. So again, you're supporting American industries if you do invest in this particular dog crate. Impact have used durable aluminum material to design this particular crate. It also has been laser cut, so it's precisely made to keep your dog safe and secure when inside the crate. The stationary crate is lightweight, but it is durable. I sat myself on top of it and it was able to withstand all 200 pounds of me. It has diamond shaped holes that prevent your dog from getting their nose or their snout through the holes and doing damage to themselves. And it also allows for plenty of airflow. One of the big selling points of the Impact Stationary Dog Crate is that it is airline approved. So if you're a Tesla Model Y driver and you also like to travel a lot with your dog, then you might be interested in the Impact Stationary Crate because you can use that crate with most airlines. Now, as I said, in this video, I'm testing out the 24 inch stationary dog crate. I actually think you can get two 24 inch stationary dog crates into the back of a Tesla Model Y trunk side by side. You could also obviously fit the 20 inch and you could also fit the 30 inch crate in the Tesla Model Y trunk. So you have three options when it comes to the Impact stationary dog crate. The stationary crate is actually the cheapest of all of Impact's crates. The smallest size starts at $299 and it varies in price depending on size and depending on the color of the crate. What I like about the Impact stationary dog crate is that you can see out of the rear view mirror. I like that I can again run it along parallel to the rear seat or I can have the door facing outwards so when I open up my trunk I have immediate access to my dogs. One thing to note about the impact stationary dog crate is that you can also add an additional door so you can have two access points. You would need to buy that additional door separately. Another bonus is that it comes assembled already so when I got my impact stationary crate I just had to pull it out of the box and it was ready to use immediately. However the impact stationary crate has not past crash safety testing. Having said that, if you go into the review section of Impact's website, you can see examples of where this crate has kept dogs safe when owners have been involved in car accidents. 
Moving on to Impact's high anxiety crate. So this crate has been designed with dogs with separation anxiety in mind. Impact actually describe it as the skate proof dog crate. So what makes this dog crate so special? Well, it uses 62% thicker aluminum when compared to Impact's other dog crates. It also has a welded design, so it gives the crate great structural integrity. Impact uses zinc steel paddle latch, so it's really easy to open and close. You can do it with one hand. It also has four additional butterfly latches, so that gives you extra security, especially if you have a dog that is adept at escaping from dog crates or you have a dog that can be destructive when they're in a crate. Impact actually use small circle ventilation holes in the high anxiety crate. They measure 0.05 inches. This means that there's no possible way that your dog is gonna get their nose or paws through the holes and do damage to themselves, while it obviously allows for plenty of airflow into the crate. If you have dogs like Sky and Copper who may be anxious, this crate provides a den-like feel to make them feel safe and secure when they're traveling in the back of the Tesla Model Y trunk. Just like the stationary dog crate, Impact use military grade handles, they got stackable corners. So if you've got multiple crates, then you can stack these and save space. It's also easy to carry the crate using the military grade handles that are really durable. One of the other things to know is that this crate comes with a 10 year dog damage guarantee. It's the only one of Impact's dog crates that has this dog damage guarantee. So if your dog actually does damage to the crate within a 10 year period, Impact will either replace the part or in some circumstances replace the whole crate. That speaks to the confidence that Impact have that this will withstand the most destructive of dogs. At the time of filming, only the 30 inch model will fit inside the Tesla Model Y trunk and that's the one that's features in this video. As you can see, my vision is slightly obscured when I do use this crate, I can't quite see out the rear view mirror completely. However, the crate does fit when you run it parallel to the rear seats. The high anxiety is more expensive than the stationary dog crate. It will set you back $1,099 for the 30 inch model. This price can vary depending on the color too. Now it hasn't passed crash safety testing. However, if you do go onto Impact's website, you can check out the reviews and there's lots of really encouraging reviews of how this crate has kept dogs safe during car accidents and freak accidents. The crate doesn't come assembled. You will have to do that yourself. It took me around 60 minutes and I did require help from a second person at various stages of setup. Impact do provide a very thorough guide on how to set it up so you can easily follow the steps. It just requires a bit of patience on your part. Also, if you are interested in Impact stationary or high anxiety crate, our Life with Klikai community can save 15% with a discount code Life with Klikai. All you need to do is use that discount code when you get to checkout. So that's an added bonus if you are interested in one of the Impact dog crates. The Infratura Travel Kennel is a product made by Diggs. It's one of the latest and most innovative products. It's an inflatable travel kennel for your dog. So this means that you can inflate the kennel when you need to use it. It takes around 60 seconds to inflate. The first time it may take a little longer to get used to it, but once you're used to it, it does take just 60 seconds to inflate and usually takes around 60 seconds to deflate. What I like about the kennel is that when you're not using it, you can deflate it. You can use the buckles and the clips and you can store it away, whether it's in your garage or whether it's in a cupboard or closet in your house. The kennel does require tie downs and a pump and these are sold separately. So these are not included in your purchase. However, you can buy bundle deals on Diggs website if you do want to get the official Diggs pump and the official Diggs tie downs. Although it's an inflatable crate, it's extremely durable. I sat myself on top of the kennel and as you can see, it didn't flinch under my 200 pounds of weight. So that speaks to the durability of the crate. It's just as durable as a hard sided crate. Now Diggs explained on their website that the crate is puncture resistant and it's also waterproof. It has angled walls to provide extra space for your dog. And it also has air cushioned walls and an air cushioned base. So your dog should feel comfortable when lying down. As you can see, there is ventilation windows at the side and it's also the ventilated door at the front with the mesh design. So your dog's getting plenty of airflow when they are inside the kennel. Now the inventor has passed crash safety testing for the bench seat, but that's for the small size only. The intermediate and the large are currently still doing crash safety testing. I should point out that Diggs have used military grade materials in the construction of this kennel. That's what makes it so durable and Diggs themselves have put it through a lot of testing. They've done compression testing, tension testing, They've put it through freezing rain conditions. They've tested it with severe cold and severe heat. They've done puncture testing, bike testing, and they've also done lifetime testing. So they've put it through a lot of tests so you can have peace of mind knowing that this really is a durable option if you are interested in an inflatable kennel that you can inflate when you need to use it and deflate and put it away when it's not in use. In this video, I actually tested out the medium size. I actually think the medium size is slightly too big for the Tesla Model Y. It does fit, but my vision was completely obscured in my rear view mirror. So you may be better off going for the 27 inch model if your dog will fit comfortably inside that particular kennel. If not, the medium does fit as you can see from this video. It's just a bit of a tighter squeeze. If you're buying the kennel just by itself, it costs $425 for the small and it costs $475 for the medium on their website.
Moving on to the Revel, this is Dig's collapsible dog crate. It uses a single steel piece frame to provide lots of stability for the crate. It has a diamond shaped mesh design so your dog can't stick their paws or nose through the holes in the crate. It has multiple access points. It's got a door, it's got a garage style door system and it also has a roof so you can actually open up the top of the kennel and reach down to your dog which could be good if you're traveling in your Tesla Model Y and you're sat in the rear seats and you want to give your dog a treat or you just want to pat their head and make sure that they know you're there and provide them with some comfort and assurance. Other things that I like about the Revel is that it has a removable tray that you can take the tray out and clean it so you're able to easily maintain the condition of the Revel crate. It also comes with a puppy divider so if you've got two puppies you can divide the crate so they both have their own space while you're traveling or if you've got two small dogs you can divide the crate and make sure they've got their own space too. It comes with a handle and wheels so it's really easy to move in and out of your car so if you want to take it into the house and use it in your house and then come back out and put it out in the car then you can wheel it and it's really simple to lift and put into your car. As you can see you can also collapse it when it's in the trunk of the Tesla as well so if you want to keep it there permanently but you don't always want to have it upright you can easily collapse it. It takes less than 60 seconds to collapse and less than 60 seconds to put it back up again, as you can see from this video. It hasn't passed any crash safety testing. The Revel costs $375 for the small version and it goes up to $675 for the large. In this video, I'm testing out the medium. So I know for a fact that the small and medium will fit in the back of your Tesla Model Y. I previously owned the intermediate Revel and I couldn't get it to fit in the back of my Tesla. So the small and the medium are the two options here that will fit in the back of your Tesla Y trunk. Finally, we have the Diggs Evolve Dog Crate. It's their slimmest dog crate available. This is a good lightweight option if you're looking for something that's durable and lightweight, but you can break down and store away when you don't want to use it. It has a coated steel frame, so it is still a strong dog crate. But this crate has a lot of functionality, so you can also use it as a playpen. So if you're planning to travel and go on a road trip in your Tesla Model Y and you're staying in a hotel or Airbnb and you've got a young dog, a puppy or young adult that hasn't completed potty training yet, you could turn this crate into a playpen and keep your dog in the playpen so you know that they're in a safe space and they're not going to do any damage to wherever you're staying. It also comes with a puppy divider, so if you do have two puppies, you could split it up. If you have one puppy and you want to get them a certain amount of space in the crate, then you can also use the puppy divider for that. It has multiple access points at the front and the side, so you've got good access to your dogs. You can also buy two additional doors if you want to have a door in every single side of the crate. They've used rounded corners, so there's no sharp edges, so your dog won't be able to do any damage to themselves when they are inside the crate. And it has that wire mesh design to keep your dog's nose and their paws safe from themselves. If they are dogs that are inquisitive or sometimes have destructive tendencies. One of the things that I like about this crate is that you don't need any tools to set it up and you can break it down and store it away without any tools as well. So it's super simple to use. So this is the cheapest dog crate that I'm featuring in this video. The smallest size starts at $170 and the most expensive, the largest, goes up to $370. I can say with confidence that the small and medium will definitely fit inside the Tesla Model Y trunk. I haven't tested out the intermediate or large, so I can't speak for those two sizes. There we have it. I've run through all the potential crate and kennel options that you could use in your Tesla Model Y trunk. Based upon the crates and kennels that I've reviewed, I would personally recommend going for the Gunner's G1 kennel. As you saw, it fits nice and neatly in the back of the trunk of the Tesla Model Y. Gunner kennel has also passed that crash safety testing. As you can see in this video, I didn't actually demo with the tie downs, so you should use those if you do want to get that five star service. Alternatively, if you don't want to go for the Gunner G1 kennel, I would also recommend the Impact High Anxiety Dog Crate. As you'll know, if you've followed Life of Click High for some time, Sky and Copper do have separation anxiety. So I like the fact that I can use the high anxiety at home and I can also bring it in the back of my car and give my dogs a den-like feel in the back of the car in the trunk. The third option could be the Diggs and Ventura. I went for the 34 inch size and I think it's slightly too big for my personal preference. I can't see out the rear view mirror when I am driving when I use this particular kennel. Having said that, if you went for the 30 inch, I think you would be fine. You'd obviously have more vision out of your rear view mirror. It would fit more snugly inside the trunk and it wouldn't be hitting the ceiling like this particular kennel is. Before I sign off, I just want to remind you that if you are interested in any of the kennels or crates that I've reviewed in this particular video, just head to the description now and you can find the latest offers that I can give to our Life with Klee Kai community so you can make a potential saving on your crate purchase today if you do decide to go ahead and buy one of these crates or kennels for your Tesla Model Y. But that's all from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.